Welcome to Come Together San Diego, a new live local show on K Praise, designed to explore what unity in the body of Christ sounds like within our communities and beyond. Don't just listen to it, be a part of it. Now, here's your host, Bible teacher, writer, broadcaster, and lover of God, Kaz Taylor. Well, hello, my friends. Indeed, that is me, but I am not alone. Oh, no. We're going to travel all across the United States today, and we have guests in the studio and calling in to the studio. Let me tell you, this is a remarkable time frame in the body of Christ right now. God's stirring people in the United States to come together in a lot of different ways, uh, in prayer, in worship, and in fellowship. And we're going to be tracking that, particularly today, because today is a special day, because across America, there's a venue happening, and it's been happening and will happen for 50 consecutive hours. It's called Awaken the Dawn, or Tent America uh, 2019. In the studio with me, I have Jesse Vecchio. Hey, Hello. Jesse. Hi, thanks <laughs> for having me. It's a pleasure. And Jesse is one of the uh, orchestrators and organizers of this in the California area and even Southern California. And uh, how many tents are going on? This is a, a worship in, endeavor where people uh, pitch tents and they worship for 50 consecutive hours yeah. across the United States. How many tents are in California, would you say? Day and night. So in California right now, we have 32, probably more. Yes. Um, and then we're representing uh, with those 32. We also have 23 counties right now. California, oh which is amazing. Are, are you are you buckled up for a um, a major journey across the United States? I'm ready. Okay. Well, there's another person I want to introduce you to. He's r- responsible for the San Diego tent, and it's at the gardens at the river in Vista, California. And when I'm talking about traveling across the United States, Dan Simonek, who is the the host for this area, is funny because he is a, a pilot, and he oftentimes flies. Uh, flights all the way across the United States and other areas as well. So Dan, uh, as a pilot uh, 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 in the air, but also as a co-pilot on this show, are you ready to take a journey with us too? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Kaz and Jesse. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Now, well, what's the scene over there? You're you're in Vista, California, in the San Diego County area. It's called the Gardens at the River. A br- very brief overview of what you're seeing there, and I'm going to have Jesse give an overview of the Southern California and California areas, and then we're just going to meander across the United States, including Hawaii, my friends, mm-hmm. as many of the 50 states as we can get to, which is, you know, not all of them, but we'll, we'll, we'll do a decent trek across the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, United States of America. That's right. Okay. So what, what do you see in there, Dan? Kaz, it's, there's, you can feel anticipation in the air. Um, our First Nations people are just starting to show up. We're trying to get them fed right now. Carol Kiger Rice, which will go on at 6 o'clock with First Nations, they're showing up, getting fed right now. There's just kind of a buzz in the air, just an anticipation of what God's doing here and the unity in the body, in our county, but all, you know, and, and all all groups and it's just been on my heart to bring everybody together and just worship the one true god yes and we're on the closing stretch of this 50 hours this started thursday at uh like 6 p.m, six, 6 p.m. <laughs> so you've been uh, having very little sleep have you isn't that right <laughs> I'm averaging two hours a night in a chair, So, but it's been so <laughs> wow. good, so rich. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I know. And not only that, I, I was teasing with our audience that you're a pilot because you one of the, you fly commercially uh, and you, you fly different businesses to different locations across the globe. And uh, for you, jetting from uh, San Diego, California, all the way to the East Coast is not a big deal. But uh, on the radio, we're just going to have fun doing this by telephone so i think it's so exciting what you're doing Kaz and jesse and and bringing all the different flavors in and seeing checking in at the different tents and you know like we've talked about i just think that there's a different flavor in different places and i'm excited to see what's going on i am too jesse you have been involved in this last year as well mm-hmm. and, and there were there, there were tents all across america in fact uh, come together san diego dedicated the show last year to this as well and we went to a lot of different states with uh, Pia Jo Reynolds, and oh, Pia awesome. Jo is one of your favorite people as I well. So why don't you tell us what we are, are ex- experiencing sure. within this 30, uh, I mean, within this 50 hours up and down the, the California coast, yeah. but also then let's head on 
yeah. uh, eastward. Okay, sounds great. So a real quick uh, picture. It started in 2017, and then I flew out there to Washington, D.C., and a bunch of others did, too. We had 50 tents that were all in one location at the National Mall. Yes. Then last year, 2018, instead of together at the National Mall, we had a tent at every capital. I know you yes. were at multiple capitals. Yes. Um, so to go from one tent in California last year to 32 tents is amazing. It's just like wildfire, yes. um, what's going on right now. And so then it's over 400 across the United States. Yes. 50 hours burning in worship for the Lord, all because he's worthy. All because he's worthy. And and my friends, this is loosely connected with a scripture in Amos 9, 11. It says, in the last days, God will build again the tabernacle of mm-hmm. David, which has fallen down and, and restore the breaches thereof, that the unbeliever shall come to know me, says the Lord who does these things. And these things really tied in with, with a phrase called David's tent, and that's in Washington, D.C. And that's one of the reasons why they're calling it Tent America. They're, they're, they're seeing the fulfillment of this prophecy of tents or structures mm-hmm. being created where the worship of God can go 24-7 as it did in King David's day. Isn't that right, mm-hmm. Jesse? That's right. Yeah, yes. it's beautiful. So we've got uh, three or four minutes. Dan, why don't you give me a little further insights of kind of some of the other encampments around at the uh, gardens at the river in Vista. There's, uh, that's the main, uh, uh, the main structure is that well, we're going to talk a little bit about the things that we see. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, one of the things, Jesse, that uh, I noticed uh, at the, the, the uh, gardens at the river, this is a, a wonderful place to focus things because there are other little tents with inside the tent. Yes. Yes. It's, um, it's awesome. It's really family oriented inside the big tent. We have an arts tent. We've got um, a children's tent where they're painting uh, for the Lord and dancing. And it's just a beautiful thing. And, you know, it, it just popped in my mind. I just want to say this real quick, though we're at the tail end and I'm sure it might be um, difficult to run out to a tent here at the last minute, but for your listeners, yes, wherever we are, we can set up those tabernacles right there in, 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 our, in, our, exactly. in our home, you exactly. know what I mean? Just exactly. to lift up this praise together as a nation. Well, right? yes, exactly. It's, it's but th- this is another good point. This thing is about three more hours worth of mm. uh, uh, it's going on. So, I mean, there are people across the United States, if they, they may sense, you know, there may be something in my community or yes. in my immediate area. Now, there's a website or two that you might want to. Yep, they can mention. go to awakenthedawn.org and um, they can, when they click on there, they can scroll down to the bottom and there will be a map and they can find their tent or specifically for our California listeners. Um, they can go onto Facebook, Facebook. Uh, it would be ATD California. There's a little button you can click that says, find my tent, I you know, it. at a location near you. There yes. are tents going right now. There are tents going all the way mm-hmm. to uh, Pacific coast time, eight o'clock. Yeah. And my listening friend, you know, how wonderful is it to open uh, our hearts to the Lord and say, Lord, you know, we spend a lot of time focusing on other things yeah, and uh, our own challenges and things like that. We're going to invest these 50 consecutive hours right. concentrating on you. And, you know, there are last year and I know this year as well, there are reports of supernatural things going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, like certainly healings and things like that. But people who do not know the Lord say salvations. We, we want to know more about this. That's right. A lot of different things are going on. And so we're anticipating this. And I think as we go across the United States, California, and we're going to be hitting a number of other states as well, mm-hmm. uh, North Carolina, we're going to be in Idaho mm-hmm. and some others as yeah. well. We're, we're going to be hearing some testimonies. These are people that are in leadership in those areas that are responsible for either a single tent or a tent in their region, which yes. their me- region may be more than one state. That's right. And so <laughs> last year we had some remarkable testimonies of God showing up. And even th- there were some nuances of angelic intervention. I mean, th- supernatural things were going on and, and I, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. So we're going to, we've got it. We're going to, in the next segment, we're going to, Dan and you and I are going to take a, uh, we're going to head up, up the coastline Good. and then we're going to head across the United States. All we're right. going to even visit a place called Hawaii. And my friend, I want you to have open hearts to know that God is moving mightily in uh, not only San Diego and not only in California, not only in the United States, but the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. And we want to identify ourselves. The scripture talks about goat nations and sheep nations. We want the United States of America to be a sheep nation pursuing the Lord Jesus Christ, who was the Lamb of God slain on our behalf and who is now alive and resident in your heart.
My listening friend, we're done with the first segment. We'll come right back and visit other parts of California when Jesse, Dan, and I return. This is Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. More Come Together San Diego is just moments away. Come Together San Diego with Cass Taylor, FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. And we are back. We're making a whirlwind trip around the United States uh, and... uh, there's an activity going on. There's more than an activity as a ministry unto the Lord. And we're investing 50 consecutive hours of worshiping the creator of the universe to say thank you for not only who you are, but who you made us to be. And so this is a concerted effort to give him glory and magnify his name. And this is the second year this has happened in this context. And uh, for both of these years, I've been friends with a guy named John Knock. And he's kind of over bigger things, and uh, and he has some insights. But he meanders where, where there's Holy Spirit action and worship and praise. He finds himself oftentimes right in the thick of things, and that's oftentimes where I meet him. Jesse, he's one of your favorite people, isn't he? Absolutely. And and of course, Jesse uh, Vecchio is with me in the, in the studio, and she's co-hosting with me here. And you're going to hear from Dan Simonek in the San Diego County. Uh, location where we're doing the worship and praise. He'll be calling in periodically when he nabs and grabs <laughs> another guest from the mm-hmm. the San Diego expression of this 50 hours of worship and praise. And so I guess it's time. Why don't you do the honors of introducing our mutual friend? Oh, Jessie. yes, yes. Um, so John Nock is ATD National Mobilization. Also, and California ATD stands for Awaken, Awaken the, the Dawn. Dawn. Mm-hmm. Yes. California state leader and personal friend, John Paul Nock. Hey, hey, John. <laughs> there you go, personal friend. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Oh, we can hear you just fine. That's great. So, well, hey, listen, I'm here in, in Redding, California, and uh, at the uh, Simpson College, and there's just literally a lot of young people here uh, worshiping. And I'm a little overwhelmed right now because there were three students from mainland China that heard the uh, worship, wandered onto the campus, and just received Jesus. Oh, oh my. See, I took my friend, bef- before John came on, I said, you're going to probably hear many, many of these testimonials of salvations and healings and things, because when Holy Spirit is uh, activated in, into an environment, uh, whatever he wants to do, he can do. So uh, this is a remarkable thing. You were up in, we, we'd been functioning the Awaken the Dawn and Ten America up in, in that area, Sacramento, last year, right? Yeah, last year we had every state capital in the United States, and worship leaders came from all over the states uh, just to worship in their capitals, uh, not to try to uh, get something from the Lord or try to even ask anything. It was really just because He's worthy. Yes. And so on their own dime, their own finances, they traveled to their state capitals, uh, literally hundreds and hundreds of worship teams just worshiped. And we, we went for 50 hours straight last year in the state capitals. Yes. And now we have over 400 across the United States. So it's multiplied, hasn't it, John? It has. And uh, you know, what's neat about it is it's grassroots. And so really it's just people that uh, love Jesus that are just saying yes uh, to the call to worship him, recognizing that when we worship him, uh, you know, not only does he fight our battles for us, but he, dr- he begins to draw people uh, to himself as we lift him high. And that's what just happened with these uh, mainland Chinese uh, exchange students. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you know, you have a little bit of a more of a global perspective than others. And Jesse has a, a more global perspective than others. And then you have the San Diego people that don't have quite the global perspective. So it's kind of like Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. So you see things, of course, you're, uh, Jesse's intimately involved in not only the California and Southern California area, but she trends all over the place. But if that's true for Jesse, it is much more true for you, John Knox. So give, give us a flavor of the, the anticipation and the intent behind this whole Awaken the Dawn Tent America 2019 from your perspective as one of the leaders of leaders. Well, I, you know, I, I, I have always had on my heart for many, many years, I, sh- I shouldn't say always, but for many, many years I've had on my heart uh, that my heavenly father would be known for, for who he truly is as a loving and amazing father. And that we, his children would reflect that, you know, 
to a world that is lost and dying. And so, you know, I believe that that comes, uh, that reflection of the father's heart comes when we truly become a uh, family. And, you know, that's a term that's, you know, kind of uh, floated about pretty, pretty regularly, but what does that actually mean to become family generations loving each other, nationalities, loving each other right now on the stage here at Reading, we have an African American team that is just incredible worshiping because, you know, we're all together. We are one family, many nationalities, many generations, and yet uh, he is worthy of, of our worship. And so, so really, I think what's happening is is through ATD and other movements, not just uh, we're just a small part of this, is God is raising up uh, just a testimony of the beauty of family. And it's centered around uh, Jesus. It's centered around the presence of, of Jesus uh, by the Holy Spirit. You know, the beauty and worth of Jesus uh, is worth being put on display. And so these tents are actually out of, in public and And, uh, you know, uh, we need to worship in the church, but we also need to worship Ah, out in the public squares. We do indeed. Would you do do us the honor uh, and kind of help us launch into the remainder of this two-hour broadcast from 5 to 7 uh, p.m. on the uh, West Coast? And, of course, you add three hours for the East Coast uh, for what's going on there as well. But would you take about half a minute and pray over this from our standpoint as we uh, visit different uh, cities and states across the United States for us, John Nock. Father, I just thank you that uh, right now there's uh, 400 <laughs> plus tents on campuses, on street corners, on in parks at state capitals, God, in counties and cities. Uh, there's just uh, tents with the single focus uh, of worship to you simply because you are worthy of it all. Lord, many churches coming together, many different streams becoming one river. And Father, you are worthy of that. You are worthy. And Jesus, you prayed in John 17 that we would truly be one as you and the Father are one. And so tonight we just say, would you get all the glory as we worship you these last few hours of 50 straight hours? Would you get all the glory? And Father, would you, as we lift you high, would you draw men and women to yourself? Would you draw prodigals back to you, Jesus, those that have fallen away, those in addictions, those that are blind, those that are wounded and hurt? Would you draw them by your love as we worship you all across this nation in Jesus' name? In Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you, John. And uh, with, with your blessings, and we're going to be uh, getting in, in our spiritual airplane and heading to a place Uh, called Hawaii and other places as well, (laughs) and Texas perhaps as well. John, thank you, my brother. You're you're a good man, and uh, we we love you. We've done a poll, and everybody loves you. We all love you. Thank you, John. Hey, I just want to say one last thing. Jesse is amazing. Isn't she, though? (laughs) Yes, we're going to be discovering that amazingness as we go. My listening friend, uh, we're off and running to other states in the nation where Jesus is being lifted up high. When Jesse and even uh, Dan Simonek, who's in the, in, the, in the San Diego tent area, and I, when we come right back. You're listening to Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. Don't just listen to it. Be a part of it at 866-577-2473. You're just moments away from more Come Together San Diego on K-Praise. Hi, I'm Jay An, President and Founder of Harvest International Ministry in Pasadena, and I want to make an apostolic declaration. God loves San Diego, and I declare revival and transformation of San Diego. I declare heaven on earth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, back to Come Together San Diego, the new live local show with Cass Taylor, FM 106.1 and AM 1210, K-Praise. And we are back as we journey throughout the United States of America and check out the praise and worship that is going on for 50 hours consecutively. Uh, people have pitched their tents in their uh, near their home or near a college campus or near a state capital or any other uh, place in their state, and they're worshiping the Lord like crazy, but they're not doing it alone. There's, this is a concerted effort called Tent America 2019, and in the studio with me is Jesse uh, Vecchio, and she is responsible for the kind of the Southern California-ish places. Ish, it, yes. Yeah, because you, you're everywhere also. <laughs> in the last segment, uh, we talked with John Nock, who is California Plus, 
uh, all over the place as well. And these 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 worshipers, I tell you what, they they want to be involved everywhere. Mm-hmm. And so we have we're right now, my listening friend. I hope you have uh, are ready to unbuckle your seatbelt because we've just landed in two places. We've uh, landed in Hawaii and we've also landed in Texas. I know you we're we're splitting your interest, but you're going to love this. The 50 hours of worship and praise is going on consecutively in these two states as well. And so we're going to dip into these right now and have a couple people tell you what's going on in their states. Uh, Let's start with Hawaii, and we want to introduce... Uh, Yes, so in Hawaii, we have uh, Keola Smith, who is the state ambassador. And uh, Keola, welcome. Aloha. Thank Uh, you for having us. Um, We're so pleased to be able to connect with you all from Hawaii. Very good. And we might as well bring Elizabeth on, Elizabeth Rose from Texas, and we might as well just do this thing. We'll... we'll, uh, uh, what do you call it? Do a triangle. What do you got to try where you, where you get three different places and you can, you can, you can do, um, I like it. Tr- thank you. But there's a word I, I'm, <laughs> there's a word I'm trying to get, but I, anyway, the triangulate, triangulate. What are you, triangulate. Oh, triangulate. That's right. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we're going to triangulate because we're in San Diego. So, uh, oh. let's, let's, let's bring on Elizabeth. Are you there? Elizabeth Rose, Texas. Yes, yes, I am here in Kerrville, Texas. All right, so let, let's start out. Uh, Keola, why don't you give a very brief overview from what's going on in Hawaii, and then we're going to have Elizabeth do the same, and then we're just going to all visit and worship the Lord. So, Keola, what's going on there in Hawaii? Yes, um, well, um, our tent has been pitched at our Hawaii State Capitol uh, for Tent America, um, and... Um, it's being sponsored by David's Tent Hawaii, um, modeled after David's Tent um, in in D.C. Which the is Lord modeled is after David's in Tent our, in, in Jerusalem, actually. Actually, yes, that's true. <laughs> um, at the seat of government. Thank you. And that's our heart's prayer. Um, he says he inhabits the praises of his people. Um, and as um, we make his presence known um, out in the community here at our state capitol, um, our heart's desire is that the Lord will inhabit our praises um, and do what he does best um, in our government, um, changing the lives of people um, and um, turning hearts towards Toward him. Uh, the Lord has been answering our prayers in preparation for this tent. Um, he's been calling people to the tent, people we've, we've never met before, and have had such strong testimonies. A woman came uh, in this afternoon and she, she wept. She's from Samoa, and she said, without my even asking her, she said, The Lord answered my prayer. I came to this tent. And I have my answer. Uh, they're trying to build a church in Samoa and um, very stressed about the building, the finances. It has to be big. And when she saw this tent, um, it truly touched her heart um, because our worship here is simply for an audience of one, there and that's go. Jesus. Yes, That's it is. Uh, Keola, so- thank you for. I'm getting. We're going to have more time for you to visit too. But let's give Elizabeth Rose in Texas an opportunity to give kind of an overview there. My listening friend, do you realize what's going on through every state in the nation of the United States of America? God is being worshipped here for 50 consecutive hours, and we have a few more hours left in this 50 consecutive hours. And it's remarkable. We think it's remarkable. Just think what the Lord says. I love it. That's my right. people lifting my name up in praise and worship. Uh, he, it, the Bible talks about God inhabiting his praises. We're, it, we're entrusting him to inhabit the United States of America like never before. So Elizabeth, give us an overview of what's going on in Texas. Oh my goodness. Well, we are here at the uh, the Coming King Foundation Sculpture Prayer Garden, actually, in Kerrville. And so that is the location uh, for our tent here. And it is quite amazing because this um, sculpture prayer garden has quite a history of its own. And then the history, I think, that they have prayed into existence was ongoing live music up on the hill. And so for us to get to do 50 hours of nonstop worship and prayer with Tent America is also like a fulfillment to their prayer, you know, um, through the years of them, you know, putting this location together. So uh, it has been such a blessing. And, you know, here in Texas, we have a very wide variety of um, 
I would say genres and flavors of music. I mean, we've had everything from just a simple gentleman playing his guitar in the middle of the night to um, a full worship team last night that just led us for two hours. Um, they're going to come close us out again tonight from Gates of the City. And um, and let's see, yesterday morning, this these uh, three guys joined us, total country gospel. And one was the county commissioner. Um, so all three of the gentlemen actually play a large role in the community here in Kerrville, but they're all older, you know, very well established. And they just thought, this is super cool. We're going to go <laughs> to the cross and we worship. Oh, so that's actually well, that, you know, and they were so yes, yes, yes. in with that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're, we're, Elizabeth, we'll be back with you in just a second. Stay with us. Right. And uh, Keola in Hawaii, we talked about triangulating, Jesse. And what would the other part of the triangle be, Southern California? And that would be... Dan. Dan, that's right. Dan, are you on the line? I am. Woo! So uh, you, who, who, who do you have, Dan, from Southern California Vista to give kind of a brief overview of what they're experiencing here? So can you imagine what's happening? My father, my, the father of, of us all is experiencing worship and praise from other areas. We have all that. They're being live right here on this radio show from Hawaii, from wow. Texas, and from uh, Southern California. So Yeehaw, Dan, who, aloha, and... Uh, <laughs> What, hang loose? <laughs> <laughs> so who have you to introduce to us, Dan Simonek? I, I have Bill McLeod, who we were honored to have lead this off for us. <laughs> oh, yes. I know Bill. I know Bill. He's a remarkable worshiper, but he's it's deeper than that. He, mm. They have a heart for, or for, for the uh, down and out people as well. Bill McLeod, give us a, a brief overview of what you're seeing there. You kicked this thing off on Thursday night, and I was honored to be there and observe that. So what are you seeing and sensing, uh, Bill McLeod? You did more than observe it. You were there. You played the harmonica <laughs> in my first song. <laughs> I think it was so awesome that you let me call you out like that. It was oh, great. I've been called out Thank before. You. Don't worry. <laughs> and some and sometimes it's even favorable. <laughs> so well, what do you sense God's doing, Bill? What's that? What do you sense God is doing, Bill? Mixing hearts, mixing styles, mixing venues and genres, and I've never quite seen anything like this. You know, I mean, we started out with some old vineyard Maranatha kind of rock and rollish old school worship, and 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 it's just been getting more and more different as the time passes. I think the expressions of different cultures, different age groups different churches it's just been absolutely amazing i i've not seen anything i didn't go to david's tent so i didn't see anything there but um and this is my first time uh being exposed to this well it's not going to be your last bill Uh, one of the things that i noticed when he and his group were doing a set they were i think it was all guitar people there may have been a percussion in there somewhere or there was a key keyboard in there somewhere but it was mostly good mostly guitar things. It was the most beautiful blended sound uh, you've ever heard. And we were talking with Elizabeth Rose in Texas, and she said one of the things that's happening there, a lot of different sounds going on. So, Keola, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating perhaps some Hawaiian mu- music, too, or maybe not. What do you say, Keola, as far as the music themes that you're sensing there in Hawaii? Um, yes, lots of um, Hawaiian worship, um, hymns, um, sung in the Hawaiian language. Um, We had a sister here um, who sang some worship in her native tongue, Samoan. Um, And there were um, many attendees um, who who also sing in in Hebrew. Mm. So we had quite a nice mix of Hebrew, Hawaiian, Samoan, and and English worship. Fly me over there, Dan. Any other thoughts for you, Jesse, as you listen to these, this, this uh, trilogy of people being, you know, giving God glory? Yeah, yeah. What do you guys uh, sense coming um, as a result of these 50 hours in uh, your region? Let's start with Elizabeth Firth. What do you sense God doing in, in, this, in these 50 hours? We've got about three or four minutes left in this segment. So, Elizabeth, okay. give us your overview. What do you think God's doing there? And then we will go to um, the, the gardens uh, at the river in Vista, and then we will have to close it out with Hawala Hawala Hawahi. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Keola, I have to tease you a little bit. Anyway, Elizabeth, what do you see God doing there? Well, 
You know, so what's neat here is we have had worship teams come all the way from about an hour or two away in San Antonio, uh, Bernie, Kerrville, etc. And so what's neat, though, is as the tent host for this location, it has made me reach out to the local community. And I have a lot of friends that lead worship, but then I had to even go beyond them and start calling around to the churches. So what I do actually see is the unity between churches getting to know each other and worshiping together and sharing the same stage together and going across denominational lines and across style lines and across age differences, (laughs) uh, lines. And so literally, I mean, every wall, every, you know, definer that there is out there, I think has probably been crossed within our 50 Mm. hours. Elizabeth Rose, Rose, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your input from, from Texas. I think uh, Jesse, we want to go, uh, let's go to Vista and have them give a very quick uh, 30 second or so overview. And I don't know whether we have Dan on the line right now or Bill McLeod, whichever one of you is listening right now, give us what you sense the message that God is uh, uh, receiving and uh, uh, anointing us all with uh, as, as we have you go back to the worship on site there. Well, I would say, and Dan is here too as well, but briefly, I would say the Lord is preparing people for what is to come. Mm. Oh, that Bill McLeod, that is so good. I, you know, I've had a chance to talk with Bill, Jesse, and he, he does, he has a real heart not only for the now, but into the future. And everything that he does is really tied to helping the down and outers now for their preparation into the future. Mm-hmm. And uh, so m- my friends uh, in Texas and in Vista, uh, San Diego County, I'm going to release you right now and then have Keola give a very brief overview here. And Dan Simonek, you know your task. So go grab another one and come back in the next segment. <laughs> okay, we'll okay. Keola, uh, and, and this, thank oh, you. Elizabeth, thank you, sweet Texas mm. sister. Uh, Keola, why don't you uh, put an end to this segment for us? Mm-hmm. Give a declaration from Hawaii uh, on behalf of the entire entire nation, and uh, maybe you can uh, Hawaiianize it a little bit as we go to a break. <laughs> Keola, be so kind to do that in Hallelujah. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, The Lord's blessing is just as he said of David, may it be said of each one of you, each one of us, I have found someone who pleases me, one with a heart after me. Um, The Lord is blessing those hearts that are after the heart of God just as he did, just as he did in his relationship with David. Um, So may the Lord bless us, bless us in this way and continue to draw each and every one of us closer to him, that our praise and worship, our prayers may be a sweet incense unto him. And may the Lord make it day and night, night and day, day and night, night and day. In (laughs) Jesus' name, amen and amen. Oh my, Keola Smith. (laughs) Thank you for joining us from Hawaii. My listening friend, here's what I, and Jesse, here's what I think is going on. As we we listeners understand that God has stirred people in every state of the union Mm. in the United States to worship consecutively. Uh, There's, there's, there's an undergirding uh, level of unity that we hadn't even anticipated going on. Yeah. And so it it is. Why don't you give a quick encouragement to the people and we'll go to a break. Yes. If you're listening at home right now, (laughs) just encourage you. Keep listening. But worship with us. Oh, yes. Worship with us. Mm -hmm. And even when we stop, there's no reason. That's right. For you to stop. Mm -hmm. Seek the Lord continually. Seek the Lord continually. We're going to visit some other states. And we are in the state of high worship and praise even right now. Mm. Jesse uh, and uh, Dan Simonek, Jesse uh, Vecchio and I will be right back. More Come Together San Diego with Kaz Taylor is next. FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. Now more of Come Together San Diego on K-Praise. Here's Cass Taylor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've uh, not only been through California, but we're going to dip in back and forth to California, particularly in Southern California and Vista, California, as we um, kind of uh, express what's going on across the nation with um, Tent America and Tent America 2019. And it's, a, it's remarkable. And we've set aside... Uh, 50 consecutive hours, isn't it right, Jessica? That's right. 
And Jessica uh, Vichek, v- Vecchio. It's Jesse Vecchio. You got uh, it, I, I, You know, I'll do it. I'll get it right. <laughs> I, I mispronounce my name every once in a while, too, as well. But uh, we're, we're going up and down and around. So, you know, we visited California, Hawaii, and Texas. I think we need to go further east. Okay, let's do it. Where do you think we should go? Let's try... North. Carolina. Let's try. Oh, let's try. Okay, let's try North Carolina. Okay. And who do we have in North Carolina? We have Joanne Walter, and she is the state coordinator for North Carolina. Yes. Imagine this, my listening friend: fifty hours of consecutive worship across mm-hmm. the United States, including Hawaii and Alaska. And let's uh, check in with what's going on on the East Coast, called North Carolina. Joanne, are you with us? I am here. Welcome all the way to the east <laughs> side of, of the United States. Yes, yes. Isn't it remarkable what God is doing it across the length and breadth of the United States of America? That says something, doesn't it, Joanne? It It is incredible. We have experienced um, such an encounter here. We're actually in our last hour on this side. Um, so we were just finishing up um, our last of the 50 hours, and it, it's we want more. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. And the Lord's saying, yeah, I would like more too. And, and it's our heart cry yeah. to do this as, as, as the, the heart of King David was 724 and for his entire kingdom reign for those 33 years he was in Jerusalem, it was nonstop 24 mm. seven. So uh, we have much to look forward to Joanne. Um, any Incredible. thoughts? J- Jesse for, for Joanne? Yeah. Hey, Joanne, could you tell us any um, special testimonies that come to mind that you've seen now that you're in your last hour of the 50 hours? Well, yeah, um, we've seen lots, but I'll I'll go to the very beginning um, because it was quite a miracle how um, we even got a tent here on the East Coast. Um, There's actually seven tents in North Carolina, um, but we have a missionary tent that's been around the world and it was being brought back to its original owner who lives right here in Moorhead City and um, she had no way to pick up the tent and we knew we had an assignment from the Lord the Lord had spoke to my husband and I we knew Tent America was going to be anywhere and everywhere and we heard the Lord say this is your assignment I want you to put a tent and declare an outpouring in the Crystal Coast in your region. And we said, okay, Lord, we'll do it. Uh, all we need is a tent. <laughs> um, we, we did not know this tent owner um, and just the prophetic history of this tent. Uh, my husband ended up calling her for a completely different reason, and it just was a prophetic conversion. And um, we were like, this is the tent. So, you know, up to the day that Tent America started, we tried one day we couldn't get the tent up we've never put up a tent it's a um it's a really large tent <laughs> I, i'll bet it is um we've never put one up so we had no experience we just knew that we had a word from the lord and we knew that that's what he wanted to do and he wanted that tent specifically um day one we couldn't do it mm. day two it thundered and it stormed and we still couldn't do it everyone who had um pledge to help everyone who said they would be here, you know, for some one reason or another, nobody could come. It was me and my husband and our two boys on the third day. It was Thursday, October 17th, the day 10 America was going to start. And I have to tell you, I, I, my faith, I, I want, I knew I could believe who God was. God is always who he says he is. But I really was starting to question that I heard him correctly. Oh my. Like, are you re- are you really going to do this, God? And we had a um, a van pull up and a recovery team in this area. It's a um, a rehab for women who have been. Um, arrested and put in jail and this is their fresh start this is their way out of that lifestyle a whole van of the miriam ladies um is a a recovery a rehab group came to this field and in an hour and a half the lord used recovering recovering ladies to put a bar tent (laughs) it was a miracle oh my it was an it was an absolute miracle and and he he showed them the love 
um, that he has for each and every one of them as a father. There was deliverance. We, you know, we had just put the tent up. We didn't even have a single table or a chair in it, and he was already touching their hearts. And there were chains falling. They were getting delivered. Oh. It was it was beautiful. It was just absolutely incredible. And they they came back. Um, Every night until tonight, they came back and they were just getting filled oh and filled and filled. It was it. great. You, you know, Joanna, I understand that you you were involved with seven tents. Did you uh, say in North Carolina seven? Yes. So yeah, you, we had seven. Are, are you getting reports back from the other uh, tents as well? What can you report about all of uh, of North Carolina? Well, you know, it has been an absolute whirlwind. You know, I've been trying to check in here and there, and I think that most of the stories are probably going to just kind of flood in oh, yes. towards yeah, the end. Yeah. You know, everyone dealing with signals and, you know, wanting to be in the moment. I haven't actually gotten any specific reports yet, um, but like I said, I, I've i been making my recordings. We've been, you know, listening to our testimonies here, but I'm excited to hear everything that's going on. We've actually got... Um, from from the furthest east point here on the Crystal Coast all the way to the mountains in Waynesville, there's perfect coverage of our state. So the I Lord just so the Lord just divinely covered us and it um I'm excited to see oh, what he's boy. gonna What's going to come next? Yes, yes. Joanne, I'm, I'm going to invite you before the end of this segment to, to say about a one-minute word of a declaration over uh, not only Ten America and, uh, you know, the uh, Awaken the Dawn, but also to all our listeners throughout the United States uh, about how God wants to bless them as we worship Him. So I'm going to ask you to do that in just a moment. But Jesse uh, Vecchio here in San Diego, Vista, <laughs> California area has something she wants to say. Yes, I'm just jumping Come out on. of my chair. Okay, I, know I she am was. so I excited. That. Joanne, as I heard that, it is not a coincidence that that is a missions no. tent that has gone all around the world. And it came here and it was a van full of women who were recovering from being arrested from whatever it was. This is a rescue yeah. mission that he oh is my. doing for his nation here right now. Wow. Yeah. The missions is here. And thank you for giving your yes for whatever it is he's calling you and your ministry and everything that you're doing and partnering with Awaken the Dawn. Thank you for giving your yes. And we just, wow. Yes. So awesome. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, in, in future yeah, segments, thanks. to, to uh, uh, Jesse, I want you to talk a little bit more about the uh, California activity, what's oh, going yes. on here. And we want to give some, a couple shout outs for mm. our California peeps. Okay, Joanne, uh, why don't you take about a minute or so? And I want you to be the voice of North Carolina on behalf of the Lord, blessing the United States as he blesses you. Lay it on us. Oh, wow. All right. Well, thank you. And Jesus, we do. We just honor you and worship you. And we thank you for the time that you've come and you've dwelt with us and you've tabernacled with us. We just want to say, Jesus, that we're not done. We're not through. And you deserve all the glory. There's no there's no time that could ever be spent where we could fully encapsulate the wonder and the glory and the beauty of who you are. And we'll spend our whole lives, Jesus. We'll spend our whole lives to pour out our love on you. And we just declare, God, that as we set you in the center of our cities and we set you in the center of our states and we set you in the center of this country, that you will restore your tabernacle. You will re- you will give us our Amos 9-11 promise that the tabernacle will be restored and you would pour out your spirit. We just declare that as worship goes up to you, that it would also be a solemn assembly that every heart would turn in repentance and and we would have um repentance in our hearts and repentance in our mouth as we worship you lord so that as we come together and as we worship you you can come joel 2 acts 2 and pour out your Spirit, Lord. We just call forth a generation mm. to restore your tabernacle. We call out every young person. We call out every middle school, every high school, God, and we just break the chains of deception off of a generation that they would turn to the beauty and the glory of the Lord. They would turn to the beauty and the glory and the majesty <laughs> yes, of yes, Jesus. Yes. And that you would, you would just gather your bride, 
you would gather your bride, and just like the tabernacle of David was raised up, we would raise up the tabernacle for the soon and coming king, the soon and coming king, our our bridegroom and yes. judge, Father, yes. and we, that we would prepare the way for the Lord. <laughs> we just we just call out a generation to prepare the yes. way for the Lord. And Jesus, we say, come. Yes, we do. Jesus, thank you for yes, coming to the earth, and we just say, Lord, the Spirit and the bride, they say, come. Yes, yes, yes. Joanne. Come, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I got to laugh because you, you sound like me. You, you, uh, all of this tabernacle of David and worship 24-7, that's my heart cry too. Yeah. Jo- Joanne Walter oh. in North Carolina, thank you for blessing the United States with what God has blessed you with. Mm. And my listening friend, oh. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's, Joanne, it's wonderful to have you. Um, my listening thank friend, it's, it, it's, a, it's a joy to have the United States worshiping in congruency one with another. And I, I'm, I'm thrilled because uh, Jesse uh, Vecchio from Southern California, mm-hmm. and we have Dan back on the line, too, for the next segment. Dan Simonix is going to be back. So we're going to hit Vista, and then we're going to go to places in kind of the middle part of the United States and elsewhere. All and right. we're not going to tell you right now because we want you to come right back. <laughs> and that is what we will do. Uh, uh, Jesse and Dan Simonek and I will be right back. This is Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K Praise. More Come Together San Diego is just moments away. KPRZ, San Marcos Poway, and K29CR Encinitas. FM 106.1, North County, AM 1210, San Diego. K Praise. I'll tell the world. Come together, San Diego, with Cash Taylor on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K Praise. I'll tell the world, 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 world. Well, we're back again and we're doing this whirlwind tour mm. around the United States of America. I've got Jesse Vecchio, a Southern Californiaite. And yes. uh, she is responsible for this uh, Awaken the Dawn uh, and, and the uh, tent. Uh, America in the Southern California area and beyond. But, you know, I think it was pretty fun to, that we visit part of California so far. And uh, we've visited Hawaii and Texas and North Carolina, don't you? Yes, it's been amazing. I know, but you you're, you have a, a big heart cry for, for uh, California. Oh, yeah. And you had you wanted to do a shout out, didn't I you? I sure do. Listen, Southern California, beyond. But beyond in Northern California, we have JP and Rochelle Ruiz. Yes. And they are our coordinators for Northern. And they meet me halfway into Central. <laughs> and they are our friends. Yes. And the most amazing, humble couple you will ever meet. And when I heard the, earlier the testimony from Joanne about the, and I said, hey, a rescue mission. Um, Rochelle had had a dream yeah. about rescue choppers coming in and the yes. Lord was showing her all these different ministries and streams converging. You'll notice in all of these tents, you're not hearing whose church or who's there, what name, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's everybody it's, and everybody's it, it, converging oh. and it's wow. beautiful. And it is a rescue mission. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Jesse, you know, one of the words that the Lord has been giving me is the word fusion, mm. you know, and when you compare that. it to what the enemy when you compare it to what the enemy strategy is, a conf- confusion, Ooh, and when good. you put God's kids together in harmony with one another, fusion beats confusion every time. Every time. And so we're going to be visiting a number of other people across the United States, but we're going to visit first with, with back to Vista uh, and uh, Dan Simonek and one of his people. And then we're going to, uh, I think we'll meander over to the Utah and some of the, those states that connect with Utah. So Dan, what you got for us? Kaz, it was Pastor Matt. Oh, pa- and- hello, Pastor. Aww. Let me tell you, before you speak, I want everybody to know, Pastor Matt is kind of the overseer of the gardens uh, at the river and River Family Church in Vista. So this is this is your heart cry, what's going on here as well. You built this facility for that purpose. Matt, give us an overview of what you see happening there. And I'm sure Dan handed you the phone, so lay it on us. Yeah, yeah so Dan is out starting the next session. <laughs> and... Uh, what I'm seeing, and Jesse, you saw it too, are a lot of happy, happy people worshiping together, glorifying our King. And for, for my wife, Amy, and myself, it's, it's a dream that's coming true because that's really what we saw when God gave us the idea of the gardens. Yes. And we were able to see a multi-church, a kingdom expression uh, in the purity of worship. And that's what's happening. It's so, so fun. Oh my. We're having a blast. 
It is. And I, I, I was able to watch your face when these things were kicking off. And I, it, it's kind of like your de- one of your multiple dreams is being realized. And I, as you and I were kind of like kids when we saw this thing actually coming together. And it is so exciting, isn't it? It is. And the, and the variety. Jesse, I don't know how long you've been the director of the SoCal Awaken the Dawn, but I think you should be pretty happy. The, the variety of worship is just beautiful. Uh, yes. And mm. this morning at 6.30, uh, that early morning session, uh, we had somebody lead the, lead the, the worship session, hour and a half uh, set, and it was all throwback music to the 80s, mm. acoustic, so pure, so simple, that my wife was literally in tears. I looked over and she was just bawling as the presence of God swallowed us. Oh. <laughs> and it was, it was so beautiful. I, the last thing I thought was going to happen at 6.30 in the morning, I was going to get swallowed. But I did. The presence of God just just ate us up. It was so beautiful. So cool. <laughs> Uh, you made Jesse laugh. Jesse, what's what's going through your mind and heart right now? Well, Pastor Matt, we just so appreciate you. And we had a family hour earlier today, 10 to 11. And um, Amy, Pastor Matt's wife, was down there in her dress on the on the carpet down there playing with the little ones and worshiping her, <laughs> her king I know. at his feet, and just the, like the children. And I just I so appreciate y'all's heart and your ministry and what you're doing for the region. Yes, Matt, we do. Matt's, well, Matt's and, store and, Michael, and Amy. Both of you, Jesse, we just got to know you recently. Kaz, you've been a, a, a great friend now for a few years. And I heard the Lord say this to me five years ago. Strength is finding strength. Oh, my. And in the last five years, Amy and I have met more not only committed but strong believers that that are kingdom people. In the last five years, in the first twenty-five years, uh-huh. and you, I, you've yeah, just—it's kind of just opened up right now, Matt. I think you're going to see more and more and more of this. Yeah. Hey, Matt, you, let's—we're we're, going to mosey on to a, to a place called Utah. You, you're familiar with Utah, aren't you, Matt? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is one of the fifty states, and we have a, a lady there that is going to be sharing some insights. Mm-hmm. I think this is uh, Lauren. Are you with us? Yes, I'm right here. Okay. Here's my kiddos. Oh, very good. Would you help me un- understand the <laughs> pronunciation of your last name? L- L- Lean, Lean, Lean Hard? That's or? correct. Okay. Lean Hard. That's right. Very good. Well, Ooh. I understand that you're not only a Utah person, but you're touching a number of other states as well. Why don't you give an overview of that? And then I'm going to ask you to kind of tell us what's going on in those states in this nation under God. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, um, Awaken the Dawn, it's really beautiful because as we've been organizing, we have um, moved, (laughs) that's my little son, (laughs) but we've moved to like kind of organize the different regions um, so that we can love on all these amazing state leaders. And so when I, you know, when my husband and I first heard about Awaken the Dawn, it was in 2017. And um, in 2017, we got a call from a man named John Knock. Actually, <laughs> we California. our listeners have met John. <laughs> yes. So, so it was just he literally called us out of nowhere. We were like, "Who is this man?" And he told us about Awaken the Dawn. And we were so moved. So, on 2017, on the mall. We were in that Utah tent, just it, it was absolutely incredible. From there, we got involved with helping with the region, and our region's called Region Three. It includes California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. And Woo. so, <laughs> and it, I just I'm so encouraged. These these leaders in these different states, they their hearts just they move me every day. Their hearts are so pure and. And really, we're just becoming this big family, and it's it's just stunning. It's stunning to behold all around, just simply all around, our love for Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Insane. Jesse? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to say, first of all, Lauren, we just love you. And, you know, your last name is so appropriate because you lean hard into him. And it's obvious. You (laughs) just have such a beautiful heart. And as we hear your kids screaming in the background, I'm a mother of four. Yeah, we don't have a problem with that. She's the real deal. (laughs) I mean, they do this as a family. She and her husband. And we just love them dearly. And, Lauren, if I can ask you a quick question, what do you see as we come out, as we end these final 50 hours. What do you see coming? Yeah, so give us give us the elevator version because we have, we're coming out of a break here, coming into a break. But give, yeah, give us yeah, your yeah. overview here. Would you please, Lauren? Yeah. 
Okay, I will. So the first thing that comes to mind is when I was in San Diego a few months ago, I got to talk with Michael Griff- Griffith. Is that his name? Yeah. Papa Michael. Yes. And we were talking and we were just crying together about the Jesus movement. And he was telling me stories. And I just kept telling him, I just, every, I can't get over it. I feel like I keep hearing the Lord say Jesus movement 2.0. Oh. And I, I just feel like we are breaking into a new like a like a, a revolution, like nothing we've ever seen of a Jesus movement like never before. Oh and I've literally had several dreams about it where I've seen like mass baptisms and oceans and and Woo-hoo. things like that. So I think it's just I think it's beyond our wildest imagination. Uh, I do like, too. What uh, God's doing. We're anticipating that. Matt, I are you I did I hear you on the phone still? Okay, get, get, uh, we've only got like about 30 seconds left in this in this segment. So a very brief thought from Vista, California, and uh, the gardens at the river. It's been incredibly glorious. It's been so wonderful yes. to be working together. It's a Psalm 133 experience. How good and how pleasant <laughs> it is to be working together. Mm. The oil is flowing down the beard, even down to the hem. And I do believe Jesus 2.0, Jesus Movement 2.0, exceeding abundantly above oh anything that we've experienced before. I, I say this again, Acts 4.33, and great grace was upon them all. I believe that the presence of God is coming upon his church. The bride is being made ready. Oh my. And APD is such an important um, tool in the hand of God to see this come to pass. Yes, yes, yes. And, and thank you to everyone who has labored in, in preparing this vessel. Oh my, I'm with you. Thank you, Matt Storr. Uh, God bless you guys guys as well. Uh, Lauren, uh, we we have literally zero time, but within zero time, would you, (laughs) would you say a blessing over uh, the worshipers in the United States of America, just America, just briefly. And then we have to go to a break. Wow. Yes. Jesus, we just thank you for all that you're doing. Lord, we are completely undone by your love. And we just give our yes to you on behalf of a whole nation, God. We say come and be glorified and have your way and have the reward of your suffering. We love you, God, and our eyes are fixed on you as we move ahead. Lord, pour out your spirit on your worshiping sons and daughters, God. And we just ask for (laughs) refiner's fire, refiner's fire. Fire, refiner's fire, purifying and preparing us for the harvest. Yes, yes, Jesus yes. In name. Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, you and your husband, I'm sure I, I, I loved you instantly as soon as you started talking about uh, Israel and, and, the, and the tabernacle of David and things like that. My listening friend, we've only scratched the surface and we've still got some more segments and we still have more parts of the United States to go to. Lauren, thank you so much. And Matt, thank you so much. So uh, I guess, Jesse, is time for us to come right back after the commercial break. What do you think? Looking forward okay, to Okay, and Dan Simonek as well. So we will be, buckle up, because we're going to be right back. This is Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. More Come Together San Diego is just moments away. Now, more of Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on K-Praise. Here's Cass Taylor. I am back with my co-hosts, uh, Jesse Becchio, and she's a Southern California Awaken the Dawn, Ted America person, and uh, also Dan Simonek. Dan Simonek's in Vista right now, and he is actually doing call-ins, but he's nabbing some of the people that are around the tent environment here in, in, in Vista, California, and he's bringing them on the air, so he will call in periodically. But Jesse, how remarkable. That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And so, I mean, we've visited so many different states, but we still have more to go. And th- this is a person who you you oh, have on your yeah. speed dial. This is a gal whom you, <laughs> you absolutely love. So why don't you spend a moment introducing uh, Dr. Candy uh, Alpine, and then we will. Now, I've met her in Washington, D.C. when we were having a, a meeting about the Awaken the Adon 2019 venue. And that's where I think maybe I even first met you. Yeah. But she's a standout. Oh, She's yes. a standout, and she—I think she had uh, lunch at my table, but it was hard for me to keep my eyes off of her. She's a remarkable lady, wisdom, and even dare I say, humor. Uh, yes, <laughs> Doctor Candy McAlpine, and who <laughs> m- many of us call Mama Candy. Oh, I love it. Um, in the center of the state, the very heart of it, of, of the state of mm-hmm. California. The state of California. Yes, yes. 
So Dr. Candy, good to have you. I remember you from my time in Washington, D.C. You're remarkable, and thank you for uh, living in our home state of California. California appreciates it. What have you to say with what you're seeing, uh, Dr. Candy McAlpine? I'm seeing what God began to show me 15, 20 years ago. I'm seeing it manifest in ways that I never thought possible, and certainly in in ways that look a little different than I thought, but I am just so honored to get to run in the midst of, of what God is doing in our, in our nation. And I truly believe that, you know, California is leading the way for the greatest awakening, not because we're the greatest, but just because God has, has picked. And there's so many things of the kingdom that God has birthed in California. Yes, and yes, yes. It will shift the it will shift the nation, and I'm just thankful to still be alive. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm gonna get. I, I've had an observation about this because I've been watching. Uh, my heart cries for the building again of the Tabernacle of David. And one of the things <laughs> that I've been discovering is is, is that. The worship component, I thought maybe it was going to be pastors that began this move. And, you know, they've tried over the decades to do this. And because they had, you know, they can do one meeting, but a a few together, then all of a sudden they have other things and they have other things to do. But what I have seen, and you can give give us your input on this, is the worshipers and the prayer people are the ones who say, we're digging in. And then then all of a sudden, all of a sudden they cohabitate more easily with one another and over a longer period of time. And the, the, the seed of unity takes a deeper root as a result of that. And then pastors can get involved when some of that mm. uh, plowing and preparation has come to pass by the worshipers and the prayer people. And of course, you prophetic people have seen it all along, but sometimes, <laughs> but, but sometimes you don't know how to put words to it. Oh. That's so right. why don't you give us an oversight of, the, of that? Are, are, am I close to what you would see as well? Yes. And, and what is, has happened is, you know, part of the, the issue is so many pastors are not intercessors. There are some. And they're doing their job uh, shepherding, but there needs to be the unity of the entire body. And as Paul told us about the the corporate body of Christ, we've got to have it all functioning, not just certain parts of it. That's right. We are to be one man, not 16 men. And it's one of the things I've observed, uh, uh, Dr. Candy, and that is... The, the transition from the church mentality into the kingdom mentality has to, has to change from my focus is on my church, my denomination uh, and into the church and God's kids. And, you know, some of them are not going to attend my church, but that's OK, because the, mm. the, the fields are so ripe. We're all going to be overwhelmed by the input of those who need to know the Lord. Why don't you speak to that briefly there, uh, Dr. Candy McAlpine? Well, I, I know that, you know, some years ago, what we thought was. It was a mentality of church, exactly as you said, and we've now come into many into the kingdom mentality, and it looks different, and we didn't know it. And what (laughs) seemed to work then was for that season, but now, you know, we're not even in a new season, a new day. We're in a new era. Yes. And things are shifting and changing, and we're experiencing things we've never experienced before, difficult times and good times, and we've got to learn to navigate this new era so that we can move forward as the army of God completing the mandate that he gave us and what Jesus told us to do. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out <laughs> demons, you know, disciple nations. Hmm. And Not, yes. we, we don't realize we are called to do that and we can't do it because he said we could. Exactly. Hmm. Now, now my, my listening friend, you understand how everybody is so engaged with Dr. Candy McAlpine. Many of them call her the mom mm-hmm. and you can understand why she, she has the wisdom yes. and she's not a threat to come to, you know, uh, she's one of those people that is like a magnet. Oh, so Jesse, you, I know you, you think highly of a uh, uh, Dr. Candy, what thoughts do you have to, for her? What uh, questions? Yes. Okay. So quick question. <laughs> Get ready, Dr. Candy. Because right. <laughs> okay. here comes Jesse. <laughs> I want to hear in girl. your, I love you. I want to hear I in your you. heart um, what you see coming as we come into a new decade, really, into decade. 2020 um, for the state of California. By the way, this is also a new decade in the Hebrew That's right. perspective. It was Amen. five, Just seven, what? seven, nine, and now it's five, seven, eight, zero. This is a the big mouth. deal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a big deal in scripture. It's a big deal in California. Yeah. Mm. It's a big deal in America this new decade. Go ahead, Dr. Candy. Well, the the Hebrew year is the mouth, and that speaks very strongly of us as the kingdom dwellers to be speaking um, things that we've never spoken before and seeing and participating. And 
what is coming, we have wonderful things coming. Uh, I have great hope for for every state in, in our nation, and I know there's going to be the difficult times. There's going to be difficult times just like the Hebrew children had to go through before they really would humble themselves before God and cry out to God. My my desire, my prayer is that we we won't be like them and that the next generation will fall away, but that mm. this will continue and continue till Jesus returns. And I certainly don't know when that is, mm. yeah. but that we will walk together and we will see the church of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God advanced in the earth to a place that, that we will see the hundreds of thousands saved across the nation. Yes, and yes. that we will become a missionary nation again, not yes, only yes. that we love those that come here, but that we want to send out again with <laughs> signs and wonders and miracles and the prophetic and healing and deliverance and whatever the kingdom has for us, that we will yes, take yes, it with yes. us into places that no man has gone before. Mm. Dr. Candy, would you take what you've just said and, and you've kind of extrapolated a little bit on this, but as, as a prophetic voice in not only California, but also the nation, the United States of America, would you take the authority that God has given you to speak? The, this is the time of the speaking out. This is yes. the decade Amen. of the pay, P-E-Y in Amen. Hebrew. It's the decade of the mouth. So you've been seeing yes. things as a seer, as a prophetic seer. Uh, would you take, uh, we only have about 60 seconds, but I think you can okay. do this. Would you speak into that for the United States of America mm. and California, yes. Dr. Candy McAlpine? Lay it on us. God, God I, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ and the authority you've given to your church mm-hmm. that, God, we will raise up and be the army of God, that we will see nations that have turned against you become light, mm-hmm. that, God, we will turn away from the evil and the, the ways of the world, but, God, that we would become kingdom visionaries, that we would see you, we will hear you, we will manifest you, that we will not fall back, we will not be afraid, we will not be afraid of their faces. I declare that this nation shall turn. I declare that the state of California, because I live here, shall turn. Mm. I declare that the kingdom of God shall arise to a place that's never been before, Mm. and it will be the greatest awakening that's ever taken place in this world. I thank you, God. (laughs) You are faithful to your word. You're faithful to that which you have spoken through your prophets, and you said, listen to the prophets and prosper. And you (laughs) do not say do anything lest you tell your prophets first. Yes. So I, I declare that the nation will now begin to listen to the prophets and the Lamb in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, my, my. Mm. Dr. Candy Al McAlpine, thank you very much. Mm. From the heart of California, I think beyond from the heart of California, mm-hmm. Dr. Candy is from the heart of God. That, yes. Your voice was thank from you. the heart of God. Thank you yes. for joining us on this segment. Oh, we, we are honored to have you mm. join us. And my listening friend, Dan, yes, Dan Simonek, you wondered where he was in, in Vista, California. He is back, and we're going to entertain <laughs> some of the people that he's brought in from the Alpine Southern California area who have things to say. And I, I, I think, Jesse, we're not done yet either. No, we we may have a little bit of more trekking across the United States to do. So my friends, I hope you're excited. We're kind of doing a, a quick brushstroke across the United States of America mm-hmm. and uh, sensing God's heart in all of this. So don't go away because we will be right back. <laughs> You're listening to Come Together San Diego, the new live local show on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. Don't just listen to it. Be a part of it at 866-577-2473. You're just moments away from more Come Together San Diego on K-Praise. This is Frank Harper, pastor in North County. We need more of God this time than we've ever needed him before. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Come Together San Diego with Cass Taylor, FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise. Well, my friends, uh, this is kind of a whirlwind radio show. We've been, of course, through different parts of California. Uh, We've we've been... uh, to Hawaii, we've been to Texas, we've been to North Carolina, we've been to Utah, uh, and we're going to also dip back into, you know, because we're, this is a Southern California broadcast, come together, San, San Diego is in San Diego, we're going to favor San Diego a little bit too. Okay. And so, Je- Jesse, I think we're also, we've also got another place that we're going to visit, it's called 
Idaho. Not too far so, away. Not too far away. But let's uh, dip into the Southern California peeps. Uh, Dan Simonek has somebody he wants to introduce us to. And then we're going to do an Idaho visit for this segment as well. I hope you're excited about what all the testimony is, my listening friend. God is in the thick of things, and he desires to turn this mm. nation towards him. And he has people from every state in the union raising our voices, not only a prayer, uh, but intercession and, and compassion to him. And, and, and when, when his kids cry out, he listens, but more than listens, he acts. So we're excited to see what he does. So Dan Simonek, and who do you have with us uh, in Vista, California, Dan Simonek? Hi, Kaz and Jesse. I have uh, Stu Spencer with me. <gasps> Still, he walked into this. He's part of the organizing committee that put this whole thing together. Mm. And without people like him, we could have never done. But and Stu was out here till four or five o'clock in the morning, bringing worship. Yes, yes. In the middle of the night, and he's just a true brother. And I just want to introduce everybody to Stu Spencer. Yes, yes. Hello, Stu. Kaz here, and uh, we we're 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 new friends, but we're new best friends, and. before you, why I, I, Jesse and I ask you questions here. Let me just say, Vicki Hodge from Idaho, I know you're there. Are you not? I am. Okay. <laughs> Be patient with us here, Vicki. We're going we're gonna to dip into Vista, California, and then we're going to come to Idaho and have, right. ha- have you give us some insight as well. So, Stu Spencer, what do you see going on on kind of the local picture and the big picture? I know you have to ha- really have a heart after God when you see what's going on here. And I know, That's Jesse, right. you can do color commentary as we go. So, <laughs> Stu, lay it on us. You bet. So, God is moving in such a remarkable way. What you may hear a little bit in the background is the First Nations um, worshiping God. And they began their worship set about 20 minutes ago with a song of unity. We are one in the spirit. And uh, it it is an incredible outpouring. It's difficult to describe. I have never experienced it before. But powerful worship going on here. And uh, and in the wee hours last night, a spirit fell. There was so much going on in terms of... uh, um, you know, free-form worship in the Spirit. People are being pulled out from their comfort zones. Uh, they're coming down the mountains, literally, um, to experience what's going on here. And uh, um, God is, is clearly doing a work of renewing mm. and revitalizing among people that, that know worship but haven't been as expressive as they have been or as they have experienced just in the past day and a half. So. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to make an observation here, Stu. I'm going to have you give your insight to it, and then I'm going to call on Vicki Hodge to give her insights in Idaho as well. One of the things that I see happening is you have the cohesion, or as we say, fusion, in the worshipers and the prayer people. And as they do that, uh, the, 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 not only the different not, tribes, tongues, and nations, but literally the tribes mm. are coming together, not only the Indian tribes in the First Nation, the stew that you're talking about here that's going on right now in the tent in, in, in Vista, California, the gardens at the river, but also the nations, as the, the tribes as in Israel coming together as well. So this whole thing, this one new man is a conglomerate of one new man, uh, Jew and Gentile, it's a one new new man or one new person of uh, the Hebrew people and Gentile people, but it's also the uh, First Nation people. It's also other kindreds, nations, and tongues. And uh, Stu, before I have you give your insight, I'm going to give a little room for Vicki Hodge here in Idaho. What are you seeing that could speak into this, but also what's going on in Idaho, Vicki Hodge? Well, what we saw was just an outpouring of Uh, people wanting to be involved across the state. So we started out like three weeks ago. We thought we only had one tent, and then all of a sudden God moved, and we ended up with seven. And (laughs) what was so exciting for us, too, is that we had a tent in, you know, all corners of our state, plus the capital. And then uh, something really exciting was we got one of the Christian schools excited about it, and so they um, hosted a, an event on their campus with all three, the elementary, middle, and high school campuses coming together, and so being listening to children worshiping God, you know, in the sincerity of their hearts, mm. 
was just amazing. And so what, that's what we're seeing, too, just, you know, counties um, from all over our state getting involved in, in putting that canopy of praise across our state. Oh my. Vicki Hodge, you're, you're the state coordinator, actually, of, of Idaho. Is, is, so you said that, did you say seven tents? Um, they were not all tents because of it's cold up north. <laughs> so some of those were inside. But, That's okay. Um, we, had, we had tents in five of those places. And that's fine. And, Yes. Uh-huh. So, so others were indoors. But and, and that's fine. Still, you know, carrying that, that's on. fine. Yeah, in fact, exactly. Southern California, you know, we're wearing shorts and things like that and no <laughs> socks uh, here in Southern California. <laughs> but but Stuart, uh, uh, Stu, uh, Spencer in Southern California, we decided to go inside as well. There may be have some sound restrictions things as well, but we also found ourselves inside. And Stu, why don't you speak just for a moment about the, you know, the fact that there's different kinds kinds of worshipers and a lot of people are willing to do the wee hours of the morning and sometimes that's the most rewarding and then I'm going to have you Vicki speak to that as well the wee hours of the morning when uh, a lot of people are asleep but God doesn't slumber or sleep so talk briefly about that Stu because you you were there during the daytime and during the nighttime as well Stu yeah you know those uh, the, the worship in the wee hours is really intimate and um it, it is almost overcoming uh, because people feel freer to express themselves in yes. a small group. And uh, and truly, the, the worship flows in such an amazing way. I had intended to be home and in bed. <laughs> and I think you heard Dan say, I was around until this morning. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and it was because of all that God was doing. Yes, yes. yes. And, 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 and I, I have to uh, speak along with that. I have to say amen, Stu, because the wee hours, you, you're right, the the, in, the being uh, inhibited uh, changes, and there's a freedom that is launched there as well. And so I, I know, uh, uh, Vicki, over the, uh, you know, Idaho state, you're seeing that as well. I mean, you're not only over the, the glorious prime times, but also during some of the other times, and some great gold is being harvested in both. You want to speak to that briefly, Vicki? Sure. Um, yeah, that's when a lot of the, you know, the people that are just kind of out, you know, coming out of bars or wherever, and they wander in and, and hear the music playing, and so they get intrigued by that, and they come in, and, and we've had, um, a, you know, a lot of people just kind of wandering in and and coming to, you know, some of them have never been in a church. And so I think that's, that has attracted them to it. And, and it's, it's amazing the people that, that will give up sleep to worship that time of the, the night and the morning. And yep, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Jesse, what I thought we would do, and tell me if you agree with this, but I thought, well, since she's, since Vicki is uh, the state coordinator in Idaho, what do you say about her? Not only declaring a word over Idaho, but the rest of the United States. I say, let's do it. I say, let's do it too. So would you be so kind as on behalf of, uh, of the spirit of the Lord speaking to his kids, not only in Idaho, but also the rest of the United States, would you make a declaration here? We're all ears and hearts. Vicki. Yeah. Just before I pray, I just wanted to say that one of the things where we really felt this year was that God wanted to um, do some some cause a shift in our state in some areas. And so not only were we praying, you know, in those locations, but at a real remote location up in the mountains today where where all of the surveys around the state took place. And so that has been just amazing to see what God is doing, shifting some of those kinds of areas. Mm. So, Lord, Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for what you accomplished over these last three days, Lord. And Father, we started out worshiping you and wanting this to be all about you. But in your grace, grace and mercy, you also turned it, Lord, to cause a shift 
in our states, mm. Lord, mm. and you caused and you brought about healing and you brought about deliverance from alcohol and from pornography. And Father, even last night, you protected a group um, in a in a in a remote area of Idaho from uh, harm last night, Lord. So, Father, I just thank you so much for what you're doing, Lord. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just declare that the work that has been begun would continue in all of our states. Father, I thank you so much for what you're doing in California and in Virginia and in all corners of this nation, Lord. Father, would you just continue the shift in our nation that you have begun. And Father, we just declare that this nation belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ and that no weapon formed against us will prosper, but that you are King of kings and Lord of lords over this nation. And we we declare it right now in the name of Jesus. And <laughs> Lord, we just know that you're going to take this nation back yes. out of the hands of the enemy, Father. You're going to complete the work that you've begun. And Father, we just are super excited to see yes. all that you're going to do in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Vicki Hodge, thank you so much for your word out of Idaho that is a word for the United States and actually the world as well. Mm. So thank you, Vicki. And Stu, thank you for spending some time with us as well. You know, I, I'm going to let you guys go, but you know, one of the things that God uses words to communicate to me, Jess, yeah. Jesse, and one of the things that... Um, Vicky said was uh, there was God has stirred some change in some areas of Idaho. And mm. when I heard that, I heard Samaria as oh. in, as in, you know, preach the ministry between from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. Mm. So I saw a progression here when God stirred her to see God changing, making some change in Samaria's I'm going, and he's making some change in Samaria oh, as well as he communicates his love throughout the earth. Mm. My listening friend, we've got a commercial break coming here, but we are not done. We have another segment and Jesse Vecchio and Dan Simonek from Southern California and I will, but we're not going to be just staying only in Southern California. We're going to reflect on the entire nation when we come right Right back. back. More come together. San Diego with Kaz Taylor is next FM 106.1 and AM 1210 K praise. Now back to come together, San Diego, the new live local show with Kaz Taylor FM 106.1 and AM 1210 K praise. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back with this whirlwind tour across the United States, but it's also into the third heaven we're discovering as we interview people that have been vested and invested in this Tent America 2019. And we have some more on the line as well with uh, uh, Tent America and Awaken the Dawn. But before we do, I know there's some things we should at least briefly say about this whole, the whole creation of the Awaken the Dawn and the Tent America heart cry. Where does that Mm, come from, Jesse? Yes, yeah, as we uh, have been traversing the map, we cannot forget David Bradshaw, who's really the visionary behind Awaken the Dawn. You know, my husband and I both minister in my father's church, and my dad's a pastor. What I really appreciate, as this movement, whatever this thing is that's sweeping the nation, (laughs) is happening, you have um, all all denominations, people inside the church, people outside, and sometimes, if, if we can be real talk, there's conversations sometimes like, oh, we shouldn't be in the church walls, or oh, we should be out here or whatever it is. Well, let me say something that I so love and appreciate. David Bradshaw, he's a pastor. Yeah. And then he's also taking it out in the and tent into the world. The and so it's the marrying of the two that um, I know for my husband and I that we just love so much and appreciate uh, David Bradshaw and all that he's inspiring yes. Yes, so sir. many people. And you know, Jesse, that's what's happening in San Diego. Pastors are still being pastors, but they're taking it outside the walls. It's the mm-hmm. most remarkable thing mm-hmm. uh, you could even imagine. My listening friends, we have one more state to go to uh, besides California, because we're going to dip back into California as well one last time. But we're going to visit the state of Oregon. And this is Kathy Pelton. Yes. Is that right, uh, Jesse? Right. And uh, hey, 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 Kathy, I dipped into some of the YouTubes and the Facebook <laughs> things that are going on there. And I was going, what's the, there, there was a little sound like this in the background when everybody was worshiping. worshiping. It sounded like this. <laughs> And I said, what is that sound? And then I could look underneath the, underneath the tent and I saw water drops 
plunking in mm. puddles. And I'm going, oh, bless their hearts. They're doing this thing when the weather is inclement. And I said, you know, I wrote a little text on your behind the scenes cast. And I said, rain is really a blessing. Sometimes we don't see it when we're, we're shivering like crazy. Mm. What do you, what have you to report uh, of Oregon? I know uh, uh, Jesse Avecchio thinks so very highly of what God's doing to and through you, Kathy Pelton. Well, it's been pretty amazing. It has been a little bit like a monsoon here <laughs> most of the time. But our um, tonight we actually have, um, it's very, very cold, but we have clear skies. So um, we are going to finish this um, dry. But, yes, we have had um, inches of water in the tent, had to hold the tent down. Oh my. But um, we've had 50 hours of nonstop worship, <laughs> and our night watches have been full. They've I just been beautiful. Well, you know, the scripture, as it was in the days of Noah, so you're probably experiencing some of that flood thing that God is going to use as a blessing. That was just a Kaz yeah. joke. Sorry about that, Kathy. <laughs> so I understand that Amy Tanner and Luke are in, with you in the tent. So Luke is a guy whom I met in, in Washington, D.C. So that my corny joke was for Luke. Actually, Luke is on the line here with me. Amy's leading worship right now, but uh, uh, Luke is on the Luke is right here, so he can say hi. Okay, hey I Luke, how are you doing, Kaz? Kaz here, <laughs> I love the joke. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 what are you sensing, you, uh, Luke? When I the thing that drew me to you is you have a you know you're a young man, but you also have a visionary and, and insight perspective from a prophetic standpoint that goes much beyond your young years. So this is going to be a short segment. I'm sorry about that. But why don't you share with me, Luke, what you're sensing God doing in Oregon and uh, the United States as well. And then we'll have uh, Kathy come on just briefly because we also have to also revisit Vista in this very brief period of time. So, Luke, uh, what do you say? Well, I've been in the unique position of being the regional ambassador that covers the Pacific Northwest as well as on the mobilization team. So I've been really, like, kind of risk deep here with with Amy and helping all these tent hosts kind of get settled in and get their uh, questions answered. And I would say overall, um, the unity has been phenomenal. Yes. But just just hearing stories of how states that have just kind of been – just neutral or even turned away because of the warfare they've experienced just coming together and laying it down. But God is doing such amazing things that deep in the ground so far beyond just worship together. I mean, there's, there's things we can see in play that God is doing to actually bring um, unity back as well as just restore foundations of some of these states and it's just incredible yes 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 thank you luke for your insight here kathy i'm going to put you on the spot here you know when when god gives people a calling it's more oftentimes especially people like you that's not a singular calling it's callings plural so you have another ministry that's tied uh, to your heart heart as well and it's what is it called inscribe ministries as well so so god is to actually he's blending media uh with you and we only have about 30 seconds for you to give some insights on that but if you would and then i'm going to have you on behalf of oregon speak a brief word and then we're going to revisit vista california as we close so thank you kathy for laying it on us quickly Okay, yeah, we just, um, yeah, we do have inscribed ministry or just, we feel like, you know, you have to scribe the vision so that the (laughs) the runner can run. Oh, oh, we're talking Habakkuk there, aren't you? Yeah, we are talking Habakkuk, and we just feel like um, as the Lord speaks, we're scribing to his people so that they have vision and they can run. Mm. And we know that the the Lion of Judah is actually Yay. tabernacling to us. Mm. And so we um, we just see him tabernacling the nation <laughs> as we tabernacle his presence. And so out of Oregon, we are just saying we join with California and the rest of the nation. And we just um, say, hey, we're extending the canopy over the nation and nations. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I, you, you're, you're making Jesse all quivery. Right. Well, right when you said Oregon and down here to San Diego, I uh, immediately was thinking about your word the other day. We just really think highly of you, Kathy, and excited to see what God's doing in Oregon and in California and the rest of the nation. Very good. Kathy, God yes. bless you. Amen. God bless you, you and Amy and Luke Tenner. I <laughs> love you guys. Bye, Luke. Uh, yeah, love yes, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, we want to spend just a minute or two in Southern California if we still have either Dan or a Dan representative in Vista. Do we have Dan or a representative? Representative of Dan there, the tribe of Dan. Hello, Cass and Jesse. <laughs> We've got Hello, about a minute. Dan. 
How, how do you want to close this in the one minute we have left? LaRoya with us. Michelle or, or Luke? Good. Did you say Luke or Michelle? Both. We have a both. <laughs> we got well, the couple. Well, we, we only have, well, I'll tell you what, um, I, Luke, let me talk to you briefly first. Hey, Luke, oh, wow, okay. Hey, Luke, we only have like about literally one minute left, so I'm going to have right. you begin a prayer over the United States of America and tell Michelle she's going to finish the prayer. Mm-hmm. You know, th- th- she does that very well because wives do a pretty good job of helping husbands finish their sentences. <laughs> I'm teasing these people be- because they're longtime friends of mine. <laughs> so, Luke, Luke, you start this brief prayer, and I'm going to have you hand the phone, phone over t- uh, uh, to Michelle, and I hope she understands what I'm asking, because she may not be able to hear on the speaker, but uh, I'm going to have her continue it. So you start us out praying for the nation, mm. Luke, and then we yeah. will we'll, we'll have sure. Michelle finish this off. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That worship is going out throughout the nation at the same time, and that we're, 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 your, your, your sound is being resounded and echoed through this land. We thank you, God, that this land has been, has been intended to be your land. And so, Lord, we just thank you that this country is being redeemed back to you. Mm. And we just declare, we just declare from San Diego to the othermost parts of America that you are our God. Yes. And we are your people, and there is no king but King Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Ms. Michelle, we take 30 seconds to finish us off, then we have to go. But I can think of no better person than you to be the definitive voice of what God's heart is. So, Michelle, lay it on mm-hmm. us. Take about 30 seconds, and then we yes. have to go away. Yes. All I say is yes and amen. <laughs> yes and amen. Oh, my. Yes and amen. <laughs> well, my listening friend, see, Michelle knows how to say the concise words that all of us fumble around and take minutes to do. <laughs> Jesse, it's so fun to have you on, you on the air happiness. with me. And Dan, really uh, Simonek, I know you're there somewhere. Thank you for joining us as well. My listening friend, this is what we do on Come Together San Diego. We come together. And sometimes it's San Diego, but like we did this time, it's Come Together United States of America. Mm-hmm. More good stuff coming up uh, next week as well. So don't go too far away from the radio. So on behalf of Come Together San Diego and Jesse and Dan and all of the nation, mm-hmm. God bless and see you soon. Thanks for joining Chaz Taylor and his many friends, including you, for Come Together San Diego. Join us again next week as we explore what unity in the body of Christ sounds like within this county and beyond on Come Together San Diego. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a co-worker, and then let's all come together San Diego next Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. on FM 106.1 and AM 1210. K-Praise.